But the main thing I've always tried to stand just on this word right here. Not just on one scripture, it has to come all the way through the Bible. Now you can take one scripture and make it say anything. Do you know infidels use this Bible for their textbook of debate? Sure. But it's got to be the same all the way. Now if you excuse the expression, I just told for the way of education to it. The Bible is like a jigsaw puzzle that's been cut up. Exactly. And you'll have to look to Christ Jesus, the pattern, to know how to put it together. If you don't, you take your own opinion, you'll have it in your seen a cow picking grass on top of a tree, the first thing you know. It just won't work right. But if you'll just let the Holy Spirit, just don't use your own mind when you're studying the Bible. If you try to use your own knowledge or your own mind, you'll certainly get turned around every time. For Christ said, I have hid it from the eyes of the seminary, yes. wise and prudent, and will reveal it to babes such as will learn. Yes. I have hid it so there's no schools and boards and, and church boards teach the scripture in the way it should be. That's a great thing to say. They may have lots of truth, but the Holy Spirit reveals it to individuals. Therefore, the Holy Spirit is for individuals. That's the reason organizations get the people out of the line of God every time. Because God gives something new constantly. He's moving on like that. And, uh, but this is always the background. Watch and see this. It peels off in the Bible. Look at how it's peeling off in time. Then you can see where you're getting to. You must not misinterpret the word. You say, well, I believe it means this. It means just what it says. It needs no interpreter. And you must not misplace the word. And you must not dislocate the word. And if we would do either of these, it throws the whole Bible in a confusion and in a chaos. 